M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So if you're on DMR OIP R Finder B1 and you're having a problem with the audio, just hit the sync button, watch this. Well, good. If you hit options, you've got mic gain here. You can also boost the audio. It doesn't really need it. Mm. So what is the point of DMROIP? Well, you don't need a hotspot. Volume control here. You can channel change if you tap this. Now a channel changer. Now back to volume. It's quite a bright screen, isn't it? In a good way, though. And if you want to go back to normal radio, just tap ROIP. Now it's going to go back to it's not using its sort of inbuilt hotspot. But now on, that's my all star node. Let's see if it's turned on. I just key up. Not at the moment. Just one sec. Takes a second to switch. Set parameters. To change the frequencies is very, very easy and straightforward. It's all there at the tap of the screen. You tap the screen. Frequency, frequency, power. We only need low, really. It's an analog channel, this one. It does have groups and zones. So, well, it's more zones with channels inside. FM narrow. Tone. Set parameters. Let's try now. There you are. That was my node coming back at us. All star node. Memory channels. You can save to your cloud. Good morning, Hubnet. Two is your OSTG listening for any calls. Now I've got mine from my this is the B1 this is. Actually got it from Moonraker. They're doing B stock. They've got they've got quite a few for some reason. I don't really know why. Um for um nearly half the price of the B1 plus. The B1 plus is the the newer version of this. It looks the same, but it's got a couple of bits that are I don't know if improves the right word, but Android 9, faster processor, and USB C charging. Tap the menu, three lines at the top. You've got messages. And if you hit the links, that's your update for your software. Let's go back. Let's go down to the propagation window. Go back. What else we got here? Initial setup, call sign lookup. Put in a call there. M zero F. It's very good speaker audio on this device. 
they actually do make a tablet which I've got coming. I do like using a tablet for things like Zello and Echolink just on a stand. QRZ, that's me. Close propagation filter. You can decide what you see when you when it's going through memories and things like that. that's what it looks like. Settings. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's my APRS. I did a fresh install yesterday because I took the SD card out. Really, it's better not to use the SD card, but if you do, I think the advice is don't use it as internal storage. APRS. It knows my call sign. Save. And it works. If I key, it shows up on um, the APRS FI. It does save all your memories. It saves them to a cloud and you can log into the cloud via a PC. You don't have to only do it on this device. You just, or, your, or, your, or your tablet. Just log into our Finder cloud and then you can change the memories on there. As you can with nearly everything on this radio. And then you can restore from the cloud. So if you've lost this, you can restore it all. So yeah, it's quite a hit of money, to, you know, this device. It has two PTTs. Up and down microphone, that's where your USB-C goes. But you've got to think, it does everything in one box. If I go home, it's an Android-based device. It's the only, as far as I can see, it's the, the only Android-based device um, for DMR, VHF and UHF. That's running Rfinder software as well. But yeah, we've got Zello there. If I want, I can put Zello on here, Echolink, Peanut. It's, I can add it all. I do like to use it on the tablet because it's so nice, big screen. So they've made a 10-inch and a 7-inch. Our finder have made a 10-inch and a 7-inch tablet called the P7 and the P10, which we'll be testing. Um, so you saw I had Zello there, but Droid Star, and Droid Star works fine on here as well. DMRD Star Fusion, that's all modes. Where's Echo Ink on? To a search E. You see H there, Echo Link. And it will log in. I know it's a bit glary here. I just thought I'd do a quick video actually. Just fun doing this. But you get the idea. You know, the R Finder is B1 is basically an Android based VHF, UHF, and DMR radio, which has all the functionality of an Android system. This one's got 8.1. Uh, but it works great at all, you know, the new one's nine. So thanks for watching my channel. Go back to R Finder. And if I want to just go straight back on ROIP, which is the DMR, using no hotspot, and you can use a hotspot. I'll test it out soon with an open spot. You can use a, just put it, on, put, put it on talk group nine, and then you can cross mode. So connect to Brandmeister straight away. We're back on talk group 921 to change talk group. Watch this. Type in a different number, set parameters. It's that, it's literally that easy. And like I said, with this, the point of this video is to show you the sync. Tap sync if there's a, if the, if the audio sounds, you get the information or you can hold your finger down here. Like so, continue to sync the database. And I think that means import the 300,000 contacts or the info. Um, there's a really good manual called, oh, I think it's rfinder.manual, and it's an excellent manual, but not too complicated. There's, the, there's all the, the contacts there, 236,000. Um, and read through it because it's, it's, it's a simple manual, but the essential information is there. One of the most important thing is, when you start setting this up, don't put it, don't put an SD card in. Just set it all up, then ask for advice on an SD card uh, to make sure you do it correctly, because otherwise you won't get the updates either. And remember, you're not just updating the software, which is what we're looking at. You up, you update the ROM as well, which, from my point of view, is the chip inside the actual Android device. So uh, just follow things step by step. Take it easy, and uh, and you'll be good to go. Bye for now. Seven free.